the sun is out for the first time in uh, I don't know how long. How long has it been since the sun was out? Oh, we need to close that. Two months since the sun's been out and the roads have dried sufficiently enough for me to get one of my own motorcycles out. I've got no loaners at the moment, so I'm out on my own bike. And basically this video is just going to be me, a little update really, on what's going on, what I've got planned, uh, just, just everything in the chop's life. So if you're interested in that, and for heaven's sake, you know, I wouldn't blame you if you weren't, <laughs> <laughs> then uh, stick around stay tuned I'm out on the SMCR as you can see I've not actually ridden this bike much at all this year it's absolutely disgraceful I hate this time of year when the nights are drawing in and the weather's been disgusting I've really been missing riding this is the first time I've ridden a motorcycle apart from that quick go I had on the GS in about two months six weeks seven weeks something like that absolutely ridiculous i'm really quite rusty I haven't ridden this bike in absolutely ages but anyway if that sounds of interest get yourself a cuppa and i'll see you after the intro chopsy roll it Fire the old girl into life. God, this bike. This bike is probably my favourite motorcycle still. You know, despite having an H2, which has turned in really to an investment piece now rather than a bike to go out and ride, really. And obviously the K8, I love the K8 as well. That's a brilliant bike. But I think this SMCR is my favourite just because it's such fun it's comfortable well ish for short distances it's really comfortable you know it's just a brilliant fun bike and I'm actually really excited about the new Ducati you know the new Ducati Hypermotard single with the super mono in that looks brilliant but I'd never sell this well I'll, I'll try the Ducati <laughs> <laughs> but I know, I think the Ducati could be a little bit more at the top, you know? It could be less grunts. Well, this is a very grunty bike. So anyway, yeah, I'm really excited about a new Ducati, but me and Greg will be doing like a best new bikes of next year video. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about life and what's going on. As I said at the beginning, I mean, I absolutely hate this time of year. I don't know how anyone else feels about this, but this time of year, and in particular, I think this year, it's just been absolutely awful, hasn't it? The weather's been so bad. It's, it's almost rained every day. And this is the driest I've seen the roads in ages. And I say, it's been six, seven weeks since I've been out on a bike. Unbelievable. And I'm, I'm suffering. I mean, my mental health is suffering because I haven't been riding. I've also been suffering with fasciitis in my foot. No, not fattyitis, is what my mother calls it fasciitis uh, it's basically a really painful foot to walk on i've had achilles tendonitis in this foot for 18 months can't seem to shake it off and because i've been trying to get out for a walk every a brisk walk every morning I, i've been favoring this foot because of the pain in my left foot now this foot has got this fasciitis where it's like the the, the arch of your foot the muscles become i don't know swollen or you know tired or whatever but anyway it's very painful and it can take three three to six months to heal and yeah so that's another three to six months of pain <laughs> i've just turned 52 last week and bloody hell I'm, I'm feeling every year of that 52 at the moment so it just seems to be one ailment after the other getting old is shit but i guess it's better than the alternative so as you can see, I've got a new helmet. This, this is the new HJC Rafa 1, I think it is. And you know, I've always been a showy man. I've loved my X-Spirit 3. I've had that for about four years now. And I thought I was all geared up for getting the new, the new Shoei, you know, the equivalent to the X-Spirit. I can't remember what it's called. I went down to Helmet City, who are a new channel sponsor, by the way. I can get you, I think it's 15% off, 10% off at Helmet City, could be 15 with the code below so you know i'm working with helmet city i went down they got all the helmets down there so i, I tried on the new shoey i tried on this hjc i tried on the Arai, 
Uh, what else did I try? Another one as well. Another one of the sort of premium helmets. And this HJC, I wasn't expecting it. I was all geared up to buy the Shoei. This was the most comfortable for my big head. Uh, so what else is going on? I've got me injured foot. I've moaned about me injuries. I've moaned about the weather. Oh, this is all very British so far, isn't it? This time of year is is hard, isn't it? I mean, it's nice today. The sun's out. You come out and it's beautiful. And I've really needed this because I just haven't ridden. And, you know, riding for me is like a bit of a release. It's like my, my downtime, you know? And if I don't ride, I do really miss it. My mental health suffers when I don't ride. And I think that's the case for a lot of people, you know? So it's like my mental health therapy. <laughs> Riding this bike. Let's go this way. Uh, is this the way? Yeah, I think this is the way I want. This is like my, uh, my therapy. Riding motorcycles just... I don't know, it's just something about it, isn't there? It just resets your brain. I think it's just where you're just concentrating on riding, well, I'm talking bollocks in, in this case, but you're concentrating on your riding, your skills, you know, you're riding a bike is not like driving a car, you're really just sat there, you know, you, you've got to be much more aware, you've got to look at everything, haven't you, look out for dangers, you know, that's just like riding around, you know, if you pick up the pace up a little bit, you're talking all the other elements, body position, you know, throttle control, road positioning there's just so much to motorcycling there's so much to mastering i don't think i don't think anyone ever masters riding a bike completely there's always something to learn and that is also what i like about it there's always something to learn and you've got dif different disciplines off road on road track riding you know so there's so much to it you know it's it, you, you never master all of it never and uh, I love that whole learning. I love the whole track learning as well. I love off-road. I want to do a bit more off-road this year, you know, uh, this winter. I will, I need to get some bikes in and do a bit of off-road because that's the only way I'm going to get my riding fixed. But uh, I love it. I love motorcycles. Hey, that make a good slogan for a t-shirt. <laughs> I think it's been done. More exciting news. I've actually been fitted for a new RST track suit. I, mean, I don't mean a casual track suit, I mean a, a leather suit for the track. So I've got an RST airbag suit, like the 44 Teeth Boys have got. You know, print, they can, RS, the, the RST custom service is, is unbelievable. So I've been up there, they've measured me. You know, that was embarrassing. You have to get in your, in your uh, undergarments, well not your undergarments, you know, your undersuit and then have three young ladies all over you measuring you. I found that incredibly embarrassing. And, you know, sit on the bike, they measure you, you know, they measure all of you basically. And you have to, they like to do it, for, so you put, you put on, you know, one of their suits and then they see how that fits and then take measurements to adjust that suit, if you see what I mean. But of course, being a great big fatty, they didn't have an off the peg suit which should fit me. They, they do one size, which I didn't actually have in. Didn't have the fatty spec in. So they, they, had, they had to find another suit, which was an old customer suit, which I did manage to squeeze into. A guy called Gary. So massive thanks to Gary, because I squeezed into his suit, and then uh, they did all the measuring once I had that on. And then, of course, you sit down and you do the whole design process. And the design of the suit, I'll put some images on the screen in a minute. Basically, Crispy Designs, who did the the sticker kit for this it's an adaptation of the of the the sticker kit which is on this bike done into a suit so yeah i'll put a flash on the screen and we'll get off in a minute i'll do a walk around to this just to give you a show of it and you can see where the design influences have come from so it's like a gray and black design with some sort of stripes and fades and the lcr logo on the back it's, it looks cool I'm, I'm really happy with it i'm really happy with it i mean it's I was trying to think what to do because the possibilities are literally endless. You know, there's infinite possibilities because they can print on the leather. You can have whatever you want, and it's almost just like there's too much choice. I can't decide when I can when the possibilities are, you know, are endless. So I, I even thought I even considered seriously considered having like a gorilla suit. I thought I'm a great big fatty. I'm trying to lose weight. I'm on a diet. 
but I'm 52, it's so hard to lose weight when you're old, you know? And, and, I, and I thought, why don't I just get a gorilla suit, have like a big gorilla, you know, a big chest, and, and just embrace it, and just look like a massive gorilla. <laughs> and I thought, because you get custom gloves as well, I can have like the fingers, or a bear, so it was a gorilla or a bear, and I thought I could have the fingers, could be like claws. <laughs> it would be pretty cool. And extremely different, but I thought, do RST really want me going around looking like a great big gorilla? Am I going to get on bike launches when I look like a gorilla? People, a manufacturer's going to want a big gorilla <laughs> riding their motorcycles, you know? So I thought better of it, but I thought, I thought it'd be pretty cool. Like a battle-scarred gorilla, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe I should have had that. Oh, it's getting dark. It must be two o'clock. <laughs> So as well as the uh, new helmet, I've also got myself a new camera. So you're, you're viewing this on the new Osmo Pocket 3, which is a little gate gimbal stabilised camera I, I put up on the screen. I've had all of the pockets and this is the latest one, the Pocket 3. So biggest difference is it's got a big screen. Anyway, I'm not boring you with that. We're here to look at the motorcycle. So here is, oh, it's got a zoom as well. That. So here is the SMCR. I mean, it's... Uh, it's not as dirty as I thought, actually. It's not quite as dirty as I thought. Only an hour to get this clean again. But um, yeah, it, it's still, I mean, this is a 2019 bike. I've had it, this was a long-termer actually from KTM. I had this from KTM as a long-termer for those who remember, were watching back then or remember this. Had it for a season, loved it so much, I bought it off them. That was always the plan, to be honest. I was always gonna buy it. I was always gonna buy it from them. You know, I run it all year, I run it in, did everything with the bike, and then uh, got it for a good price. <laughs> so you can't really argue with that, can you? But um, yeah, it's been brilliant. I mean, KTM get a lot of stick, you know, reliability stick from people, you know. It's every video I do on a KTM, it's like, oh, it break down. I've had no trouble with this, no trouble whatsoever. And I think they get a lot of unfair stick, if I'm honest. I think they do get a lot of unfair criticism. Hang on, I'm just trying to see if I can track it. Active track, here we go. I'm, it's tracking now. It's automatically tracking the bike as I move on my new camera. But yeah, I think, I think ATM get a lot of unfair stick on reliability. I've had no troubles. I've had a Super Duke. I've had no troubles with my Super Duke. I've had various off-roaders, including like a Supermoto and a 500 Supermoto. No troubles at all. So I do think they get a lot of stick and I think some of it, obviously some people have problems, but I think a lot of it is a bit unjust. Let's hit it. Probably break down on me now after I've <laughs> been banging on about KTM. Reliability, not unreliability, I've been banging on about reliability. I've spent the last Weak DIYing as well, doing up the downstairs toilet. <laughs> oh, it's all very showbiz. It's all very showbiz in my house. In the bog, decorating the bog. So putting a bit of pounding up on the walls, painting all the skirting boards, I put some floor levelling stuff down. You know, we're actually doing a penny floor. It's going to be quite ostentatious in my downstairs loo. We're going to have a penny floor, so you get lots of pennies. We've got 50 quid's worth of pennies. I literally can't see a thing. We've got 50 quid's worth of pennies, which you PVA to the floor. I've done the self-leveling stuff, as I said. And then you put resin on top of the pennies. And we may do like a border. Use the shiny pennies to do a border. So, yeah, the downstairs loo's getting the full... <laughs> ostentatious treatment it's a penny floor dark wood and like book book in shelves wallpaper so, <laughs> so yeah that's been my life for the last sort of three or four days and we haven't even got onto the penny floor yet but we've got all the painting done you know oh. we're actually having a new bathroom as well we've got a copper bath to go in upstairs when we moved into the house we've got now because it had a double garage and because it's got a really small garden so it's quite a small, even though it's a four bed detached house, it's got a very small garden. And that's sort of one of the compromises for having a double garage. And I said to the missus, you know, she loves her garden. I said, look, she's always wanted a copper bath. 
I said, look, if we move into this house and I can have my double garage, you can have your copper bath. So I've also got to spend about 10 grand on a new bathroom as well. <laughs> so I bought the copper bath, got a bit of a bargain off eBay. Should have been six grand the copper bath, got it for two grand because it was in a photo shoot. So, and we just spent two grand on all of the uh, toilet, the sink, you know, all the rest of the suite. And then I was going to fit that myself, and I thought, well, come on, you don't really know what you're doing, do you? So I've got some, we've got quotes for people to come in and do the bathroom. I mean, I think about four, three is the cheapest we've got for the quote at the moment. But you, you know, it's a about people charge to fit bathrooms it's extortionate extortionate I tell me but yeah so it's gonna all be about 10 grand by the time it's all said and done so I've got to save that a bit more yet won't be buying a new uh, a new motorcycle until the bathroom's done that's for sure so there we are thanks very much for watching everybody if you got this far you need some sort of medal for this into my old bollocks but um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for, oh yeah, I, let's, let's just thank everybody while we're doing this sort of video. And a massive thanks to you guys for watching. A massive thanks to my members and my Patreons. You know, you guys, you don't get a lot from me. You know, my Patreons and my members. I, you know, I get the odd early access video up, but you don't get much from me. And you, you people on there, you make the difference it's fantastic so thanks so much it really is appreciated even though it doesn't look like i am i really do appreciate you guys going the extra mile massive thanks to the sponsors you know also pyramid plastics has now joined the channel as a sponsor pyramid plastics is a brilliant company i had one of their huggers on my gsxr like color-coded huggers they do some brilliant kit for what yamaha's mt10 mt09s really really good aftermarket well-designed products not your normal cheap chinese shit you know this stuff pyramid plastics do is absolutely brilliant so go and check those guys out massive thanks for, for joining the channel we're going to hopefully do some work together on a few projects in the future with those guys and uh, yeah so pyramid plastic knox of course for their kit absolutely brilliant knox kit absolutely love it Bimoto for insurance, if you've got any insurance, when your insurance is renewing for next year, please give Bimoto a call. I've actually got a, a CHOPS hotline, which I'll link below, so they know your call is coming from me. And I, I don't get, well, I don't really get any kit. Well, I do, yeah, I do get a little kickback, actually, but, you know, just, just give them a ring. Get a quote. They're a really good company, Bimoto. They are excellent insurance brokers. And I'm not just saying that, I truly believe it wheels motorcycles of course i've been a bit lacking with wheels this year so we're going to really sort that out next year we're going to get on there when they get new models in we're going to get out and test their new models and do a little bit more wheels motorcycles but massive thanks to wheels and of course ultimate add-ons mounts i haven't got one on today but ultimate add-ons mounts have been a sponsor of the channel for quite some time i think the best phone mounts in the business really really good and uh, money off most of these places I can get your money off as well so not only do they support me they support you guys as well by giving your money off so massive thanks to my channel sponsors it's really appreciated but there we go guys keep safe keep warm have a good Christmas we've got Christmas coming I mean, maybe me and Greg will do a little Christmas Q&A <laughs> before Christmas we'll talk about the new bikes and a bit of a Christmas Q&A so if you've got any questions for me and Greg to bring up on our Christmas Q&A let me know in the comments I'll put some other details out on social media asking for questions but if you've got any questions for us stick them in the comments on this video as well and I'll pick them up for that chat and uh, yeah have a good one stay safe stay warm I'll see you soon